Welcome to our guide on how to create a dichotomous key. Before we dive in, we recommend watching our video on how to use a dichotomous key to familiarize yourself with the concept. Now, let's get started on making your own dichotomous key. Step 1. Determine the number of steps your dichotomous key should have. Subtract one from the number of organisms being identified. For example, a key for five organisms should have four steps, while one for 10 organisms should have nine steps, and so on. Step two, observe the features of each organism, noting their similarities and differences. Step three, write down a feature with its contrasting feature at each step. For instance, if one choice indicates wings present, the opposite choice should be wings absent. Repeat this process with different features at each step. Step four, define the instructions for each feature. Should the choice lead to a further step or directly identify the organism? If multiple organisms match a feature, it should lead to a further step. If only one organism matches, it should provide an identification. Step five, test your dichotomous key to ensure accurate identification of all organisms. Let's apply these steps practically by constructing a key that can be used to identify leaves from the guava, lotus, maple, and sunflower plants. To determine the number of steps in our key, we subtract one from the number of leaves, resulting in three steps. These steps are designated as 1a, 1b, 2a, 2b, 3a, and 3b, with each step presenting two opposing features. Examining the features of each leaf, we see variations in shape, color, edges, and vein patterns. Observing the guava leaf, we note its oval shape, vibrant green coloration, smooth edges, and intricate network of veins. The lotus leaf has a round shape, lush green hue, smooth edges, and parallel veins. Moving on to the maple leaf, its distinctive palmate shape stands out, complemented by a yellow coloration, lobed edges, and an interwoven network of veins. The sunflower leaf displays a charming heart shape, rich green color, toothed edges, and a network of veins. Now, we can combine steps three and four by listing two contrasting features at each step and defining an instruction for each choice simultaneously. Let's begin with one of the features we observed in step two, such as the smoothness of the leaf edges. In 1a, we write that the leaf has smooth edges, and in 1b, we write the opposite feature, which is that the leaf does not have smooth edges. Since multiple leaves exhibit smooth edges and multiple leaves do not, we instruct to proceed to a further step for both choices. For step two, we'll specifically compare the leaves with smooth edges, namely the guava and lotus leaves, focusing on their distinguishing features, such as shape and vein patterns. We chose to differentiate based on shape, so in 2a, we write that the leaf has an oval shape, identifying it as the guava leaf, and in 2b, we write that the leaf has a round shape, identifying it as the lotus leaf. For step three, our focus shifts to comparing the leaves without smooth edges, namely the maple and sunflower leaves, we can use their distinct differences in shape, color, and edges. Given our key's emphasis on shape differences, in 3a, we write that the leaf has a palmate shape, identifying it as the maple leaf, and in 3b, we write that it has a heart shape, identifying it as the sunflower leaf. Now, let's put our key to the test by identifying a maple leaf. Starting at step one, we determine if the leaf has smooth edges or not. Given that it has lobed edges, we proceed to step three as instructed. Moving to step three, we assess if the leaf has a palmate shape or a heart shape. Since it exhibits a palmate shape, we accurately identify it as the maple leaf. Repeat this test with all the organisms. If all organisms can be accurately identified, our key is complete. However, if all organisms can't be accurately identified, we'll need to revise and construct a new key accordingly. Now, I challenge you to construct a dichotomous key for identifying a lion, snake, tortoise, butterfly, and jellyfish. 
Feel free to share your key in the comment section below. Remember, there are many correct ways to create a dichotomous key due to the various features that can be used. Thank you for watching until the end. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. See you in our next lesson.